It's a question many moviegoers have been asking themselves. Should I get MoviePass? After dropping its monthly fee to $6.95, MoviePass has now teamed up with Mark Cuban's Landmark Theaters. So should you finally give in and subscribe to the ticket service? Well, let's take a look at what you need to know about MoviePass. The ticket subscription service's customers going to Landmark locations will now be able to take advantage of added features including e-ticketing, advanced screening reservations, and seat selection. Generally, MoviePass doesn't allow access to seat reservations. And on Friday, March 23rd, MoviePass shaved another dollar from its monthly fee, bringing the price down to $6.95. New subscribers will get one movie ticket per day, a minor catch being that users must pay for a year up front. There's also a one-time $6.55 processing fee. Now, this is the upteenth time that MoviePass has changed its price since launching six years ago at $40 per month, before raising it to $50. Most significantly, it was cut to just $9.95. The change had the desired effect as subscribers swelled from 20,000 then to more than 2 million. But how viable is MoviePass? Well, offering 30 admissions for the price of now less than one each month has attracted skepticism. MoviePass pays full price for the tickets its members use, except at a few theater partners. AMC, with 8,000 plus screens in the US, has sought legal counsel in its quest to opt out of the service. And Adam Aaron, its CEO, said in November that AMC has no intention of sharing any, I repeat, any of our admissions revenue or concessions with MoviePass. While some frequent moviegoers have signed up for MoviePass, CEO Mitch Lowe says he is targeting the average consumer, who goes to a theater four and a half times annually. The CEO says he's filling theaters showing smaller movies, since subscribers no longer feel the need to only spend their movie-going bucks on big-budget event films. While Lowe concedes that MoviePass is currently losing money, he won't say how much, he predicts profits by the time it hits four million subscribers. As for raising cash, Helios and Matheson Analytics recently plowed $60 million into MoviePass, and MoviePass knows in which theaters it's subscribers are, so it will soon be selling targeted ads for products beyond film titles, like restaurants that could offer discounts to customers who show their MoviePass app. And if MoviePass can return growth to the movie industry after admissions fell 6% in 2017, Lowe argues it would be such a valuable service that it would deserve partnerships not only with theater owners, who will share revenue, but also studios, though no major studios have signed on yet. While the company, controlled by Helios and Matheson, said that it would boast 3 million subscriptions by August, Lowe says he expects to hit that mark by the end of April. For more on this story, head to THR.com, and moviegoers, I want to hear from you. Do you have a movie pass, and would you recommend it? Be sure to let me know in the comments. Until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.